it's the first Sunday in February, so I thought it's time for a plot tour. It's a rather cold day, but the sun's decided to make an appearance. So let's start down in this corner. So I cleared away the uh, compost bin over the last few weeks and laid the plastic down. There are a few little bits that need to be either recycled or thrown out. I'm just waiting for the tinker to come around with his cart and he'll uh, take away some of that stuff. So I've covered it with plastic just to try and help me suppress the weeds because it is rather a large site and over in that corner there I lifted the plastic to see how well it was doing and it was doing really good so hence why I've put it down all over the place. In some sections it's collected a bit of water which is now frozen so there's not a lot I can do over the last few days and I think it's going to be like this for the rest of February to be honest but there are a few things that have changed let's start off with my clematis here this is doing really well this is the winter clematis it did have a few flowers on the bottom there but it's just put in on a lot of growth I'm thinking about possibly getting another clematis to put by the side of it put it down there but to get a summer one so this could be like a clematis wall if you can think of another climber that might do a good job then tell me in the comments below so these are all my daffodils quick little update on my cuttings they're doing really well there oh look at that one of my lights have fallen in the water. Oh well, I'll just leave it like that when it can defrost. So in these pots, I've put a lot of daffodils, tulips, crocus. Look at that, something's starting to pork up. Let's push the soil up there. These are my cuttings of the roses that I did and look at them, putting on some great growth. Now if you remember in December I had some rhubarb which I thought was a bit too uh, soon to put it into the open ground because they were so frozen so I put them into pots and they're doing really well. So I will transfer them when the uh, when the ground defrosts. So they may be in here till about the end of this month. I haven't really used this shed much over the past month. Because it's in the shed it's very cold to sit in there so I think what might happen in the future is this will become the summer shed because it'll give me shed and then over on the far end that will be my winter shed because it gets quite a lot of heat there. Let's just wait for the train to pass. Like I said, it's Sunday morning, so we don't get that many trains. We get about one an hour, two an hour. One thing I have been busy, is making sure that the bird feeders are topped up for the birds to come along so I did those yesterday and as you can see the nut feeder the nuts are obviously popular in fact in that nut feeder there in the base I put some suet for the the robins I put suet in the bottom and nuts on top but obviously the robins have eaten all the suet. Okay, I might put some more out before I go today. So, like I said, in this section is all the raised beds waiting to be built. So I'm hoping to get on and do this this month. Because I need to get some of the brambles out. But I don't know. i got a feeling the whole of February is going to be cancelled because of this... Uh, frosty weather. But once I get the raised bed up I think that will really set the scene. 
All right, just have a look in my shed because I've had a, de a delivery this morning. So on this site, you can order your potatoes in our shop and then they all turn up. So even though I've got some in the house, I've got some Marky's main crop. These are my other potatoes. So I'm going to do a video on what potatoes I'm growing this year. I also got some onions. Also went mad when I went to Wilco's. They were selling a few things off. I bought some lilies, gladiolas and things like that. And these are from some of the neighbours because I gave them some of my seeds. I'm ready with my pots up there. Also, I found this when I was cleaning out the house the other day. Like an index card. But I thought it would be very good for just putting my seeds in. So how do you keep your seeds? Because I'm a bit concerned because it's wood. And if you remember, we did have that little vol under the last shed. So I might get a tin box. So I'm open to suggestions on how I can store my seeds on site. Right, let's have a look inside the, the veggie pod. Because it's now starting to fill up. I still need to put some soil in. But the temperature is... The highest is 29, the lowest is minus 6. But what is the time now? Uh, what's the temperature now? Look at that, 27. So I've got the, the winter coat on. That's why it's raising the temperature. So, what have I sown over the past month? I've done leeks. The geraniums there, I need to take them out and uh, pot them on. And what I've done in the past few days is I've potted up some onions and shallots. So I've got half a packet potted up and the other packet will go straight into the ground. And that'll just give them a bit of a head start. Also sown some seeds, calabrese, cauliflower and red onion. What else? Oh yes, I've got these. These would go in for a few, for a few pounds. So I've bought some gooseberry bushes. Just put them in there because I haven't had time to get around and do it. Like I said, the soil's been a bit frozen. But they're really good plants. And I've also got another gooseberry coming, which is the variety Lancashire Lad, which if you are a fan of Harry Dodson, you would know Lancashire Lad was grown in their garden and I managed to get my hands on a bush. So let me just close this. It's quite easy to just open it up, do a bit of business and then close it down again. Now before we go down to the fruit garden I just want to show you this. This is a new plant supporting the local garden centre and it's called a Christmas box and the scent, I wish you could smell it the scent is absolutely stunning and everybody on site has come over to have a sniff of it because it can be smelt from all, all over the place it will grow to six foot tall and about one and a half, two feet wide and after the flowers you get these berries but we can't find out whether these berries are poisonous from the RHS website they said there's no new there's no new known issues with them. So if you know different, tell me. I'm thinking about possibly putting it in this corner here. Because the fruit garden will be down there. And then in front of the fruit garden is going to be like a flower section with possibly a gate down there. And flowers on this side as well, that's why I've put the rose in front of the shed there. I think it would be quite nice there, if it only grows to about six foot. Anyway, let's have a quick look in the uh, fruit section. It's surprising that that warmth we had in January has brought the raspberries 
into uh, growth. So I'm expecting the frost to hit them back. Another task I did last month was to put my red currant collection in. But one of the problems I've got is the foxes are scratching the soil out. So every time I come down I have to push the soil back, back in the hole. So I'm thinking the space down there will be where the gooseberries will go. In this section and there's still space then to the left of that for my rhubarb all this has to go a lot of this was from the last shed i unfortunately missed the skip when it came so for once i feel on top of things but what will happen now is we'll get a really cold february i won't be able to do anything and then i'll feel a bit of pressure to get on and get the raised beds finished. Oh, it's a double length drain. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, I feel on top of things at the moment, but I know we'll get a cold February and then all of a sudden I'll feel rushed to get things done. So all those plants I've got in the shed, I'll put them into pots. And then once the raised bed's done, I can just transfer them in. Well, that's it. That's the plot tour for February. So this will be the second February that I've had this plot. So I'll put a link to the plot tour for last February in the description below. Now, like I said, even though the sun is out, it's still a bit nippy in the air. So I'm going to pop in and have a cup of tea. So from me, until next time, bye for now.